3D printing is a technology that allows you to produce and manufacture anything that you want one layer at a time by depositing the material exactly where you want it and growing the part one layer at a time. The beauty of it is that you can print with hundreds of materials uh, that are highly functional and more excitingly, complexity is completely free with 3D printing because you are not bound by any conventional or traditional manufacturing methods. So any shape and any geometry that you can dream of, you can make. At my company at 3D uh, Systems, we have more than 100 materials that includes plastics and nylons and fully dense metal alloys, composites, waxes and rubber like materials. We can also print in full color in up to about 382 color combinations in every layer so pretty vivid and powerful. Almost every in-the-ear hearing aid today is 3D printed. The final device that goes in the ear canal. Uh, dental restorations increasingly are being 3D printed so a crown, bridge, implant, partial denture. Most of the uh, knee implants are getting printed both the the uh, knee t implant itself which is uh, metal printed but also uh, all of the tools the jigs the fixtures the drill guides that eliminate all the variability from procedure to procedure are also now uh, 3D printed. And that's only the beginning because there are already companies that are working actually on printing real functional organs and body part replacements. So I think in terms of medical applications, the sky is the limit in terms of what's gonna happen in the next you know, 10 to 15 years. What's uh, next on the journey is multi-materials, the ability to begin to print different materials and different functional characteristics at the layer level and beyond that smart materials and materials that have uh, control circuitry and functionality at the process level not just on the functional level so that you can begin to in essence uh, think of a day that you could print your entire cell phone and it would actually function. There are always uh, exciting opportunities and unintended consequences. And one of the uh, unintended consequences of 3D printing is that in addition to democratizing creativity and enabling local manufacturing, uh, it also in a sense democratizes uh, access to, count, to, to easier counterfeiting because with sensing and digitizing and scanning, you can now use your camera or your Kinect Xbox to begin to digitize and replicate somebody else's IP. It's very sustainable in the sense that there's almost uh, little to no waste. So the ability to make it locally, to make millions of one of a kinds, to uh, make it in a very sustainable way, uh, begins to empower millions of people to co-create with their brands. It empowers garage entrepreneurs to have access to technology that historically was only reserved for the pocketed companies. So my view is that in the next five to ten years, the convergence of enabling technologies like artificial intelligence, robotics, uh, infinite computing, sensors, and 3D printing will basically challenge and disrupt all the traditional business models. Exciting and threatening to traditional models at the same time.